Hi, this is Matt Monahan of SA International here with Kent Helfrich, uh, Executive Director for the EcoCar 2 Challenge, and his background is in uh, modeling and design for General Motors as well. Thank you for joining us, Kent. Glad to be here. Um, just to get started, I guess, could you just explain uh, why modeling is such a big plays such a big part in the EcoCar Challenge? Well, in the EcoCar Challenge, we're really into teaching these college students the latest and greatest tools in the automotive industry. And we use modeling and simulation extensively, especially in our hybrid uh, powertrains. Now, why is it so important to use modeling and simulation versus some of our tried and true methods from decades past? And the answer is the complexity. We really have to we really have to make the complexity come together so that when the system's integrated, it works. Right. And the only way to do that is to do modeling and simulation before you get into the vehicle. And how have you seen students embrace the modeling and design as, as compared to your traditional role at General Motors? Well, the, these students are much more apt to be able to do the simulation beforehand. But as engineers, as soon as you get your hands on the hardware, you have to resist that struggle to immediately go into the vehicle and try things out. And I find that these kids are very, very good at trying out their ideas in simulation first and then taking it to the vehicle. And then in terms of the EcoCar 2 Challenge, which you announced here at uh, SAE World Congress, how do you expect the students to use the modeling? Is, is it going to be similar to what they did in the first EcoCar, or do you expect them to run the, the modeling a little bit more? Well, every one of these competitions builds on the last, so we're going to be expecting more of them from the, uh, from the software in the loop and hardware in the loop uh, simulation. And we're going to be expecting them in their first year to actually be trying out all of their uh, designs and uh, we're going to be giving them a lot of guidance and a lot of help to make that happen so that when they get their vehicles in their second year, very similar to the way we do things in the industry, then their work will already have been done largely on the bench and it'll work first time in the vehicle. Okay. Great. Thank you for joining us, Ken. This has been Matt Monahan of SAE International reporting live from the SAE 2011 World Congress.